Everybody, it's Chris from Prepare My 101, and this is an unofficial video. That means this doesn't count as one of the three this week. That's why you got all the road noise and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, dealing with some some family stuff, you know, people in the hospital and all that. Sometimes it uh, gets you distracted. But uh, I wasn't able to get to what I wanted to do today. I might have to do it tomorrow. But in the meantime, I can do something kind of really quickly. I have a knife in my hand here that I did not get to do a video. I mean, this was actually purchased as a gift for somebody. But <laughs> it's just like, man, I mean, I should just do like a quick video, just kind of like show it, get an idea. This is not a new knife. This is a knife that's been around a long time, uh, years and years and years, and it's gone through very uh, different iterations. It's the largest version of the Cold Steel tie light. So this is the six inch tie light, referring to the blade. But <laughs> when it's completely open, it's like 13 inches long. It's a 13 inch, long piece of uh yes please take me to jail officer i mean <laughs> that's what it looks like i mean it's like a t i get two hands on this thing it's definitely one if you got money burning a hole in your pocket that it would be great for the collect the collection because it's just you pick it up and you're like i mean it's, I, I would tell people it's like look i work at Dollar Tree sometimes you know we fill balloons there and some of the getaway and this is a this is a portable tool for helping getting stray helium balloons off the ceiling it has to have enough reach so I reach up and pop those suckers that's what I would say even though it would be a lie but one thing that's interesting about this I'm gonna skip since this is like a an extra video and I got something else to show you here too that I didn't plan until just like seconds ago one thing I want to point out if you didn't know this uh, is the steel that this the current steel that this is made from this is kind of a sad thing to me is uh, I want to say it was two three years tops ago uh, cold steel started using like CTS XHP carpenter steel and the first time I'd ever heard of that steel or messed with that steel was that MT Knives Genesis neck knife that I had that I ended up giving to Jesse, which she ended up giving to her guy, and that thing just got used like nobody's business. So the steel really impressed me, and I was excited when Cold Steel started actually using CTS XHP on some of their knives. It's an American-made steel. But what I was told through the grapevine, the people that I work with, was that Carpenter is no longer going to provide steel to the knife industry for the purposes of making knives. This is hearsay, this is what I was told. But for a lot of these steel manufacturers and what they make, the knife industry is still a tiny little portion of that market to them and for some of them it's just not even worth messing with so I heard that you may not even see stuff like you know I'm not that impressed I was never that impressed with CTS uh, BD1 which they use in some of their other knives like the uh, Spartan but CTS XHP yes I did definitely like that steel held a great edge it was nice so yeah this is actually just a gift you know, it is a liner lock. There's no logical reason to have this. It's like one of those things where it's like you can't even argue with the cop. It's like there's no real reason for you to have that. And you're like, yeah, and you're kind of right. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I work at Dollar Tree and those balloons get away from me. So you would be wrong there, sir. I mean, you're right, sir. I mean, I'll just shut up now. Wait for my lawyer. So, yeah, if you got big mitts, it's definitely a cool knife. It's not a knife that you need, but, you know, I just happened to have it in my hand, and I thought I'd shoot a video. Well, why not? So it's definitely 
pretty cool. I used to have, and I'm sure I, I must have done a video on it at some point, I used to have the 4-inch tie light, which that was pretty freaking cool too. I don't know what ever happened to that. Uh, chances are I probably gave it to somebody. So there's that. These things run about 100 bucks, And who knows how many of them are. Where did I get this? DLT. I was like, for a second there I was thinking Blade HQ, but uh, no, because I got this with the uh, with that Bark River I showed the other day. The, uh, the Ultralight Bushcrafter. So yeah, definitely something different. Now, the, the other thing that I'm going to do with my remaining time here is just eyeball this isn't going to be a full review maybe i'll have to take this thing out and actually test it because when i first pulled it out of the box i'm like okay we've seen this before you know toss it aside but then i but then i picked it up and took a closer look at it and i'm like wait a minute maybe we have something here so stick around let me show you what this other thing is okay so i know next to nothing about this we're just going to kind of like eyeball this together and decide if this is something that we want to possibly go test further just for the fun of it so uh, if you recall I was getting a lot of stuff from King Camp it's like uh, if things got returned to Amazon it wasn't cost-effective to send it back to the factory in China so they just dump it on me which was cool for a while until <laughs> until you get like a pallet of stuff and you're like I have nowhere to put this so guess what Boy Scout Troop you just got hooked up you know things like that but that kind of calmed down and I, I've gotten a couple random things from them like they make everything apparently I didn't even know half of this stuff uh, but this is one of those random things so this is a shovel and at first glance, you might think, oh, this is just a random El Cheapo made in China shovel, right? And I, I thought it would be like some that I've seen before. Uh, I actually haven't. So starting off with the Cordura cover, it's got two little pouches here on, the, on one side, which I have no idea what they're for. Maybe just, you know, a couple little survival items or whatnot. And then they've got uh, straps, belt straps, or molly straps on the back. And the first thing I noticed was there's like, just how's this? Like I said, there's so many weird things that this thing does. It's gonna take a while to figure it out. Oh, that just comes. In. Wait, does that go down here? I bet it does. This thing is weird. So. It's pretty sturdy feeling, and on one side, it's it's not that's not a saw blade. That's like that looks like the Spiderco serration pattern to me. So that's like a serrated cutting edge, not like for sawing tree limbs like people would normally assume. Now, right here, what I was just messing with. That is a place where you have this this piece right here, which looks like it's some sort of glass breaker or whatnot. So I'm bet, and this thing un, this thing twists and, and goes all these different ways. So I'm betting there's just different ways that you could set that up. One thing that I found here on the bottom, if I unscrew this part, let's see if this fits. No, that part don't fit. But down here. There was like a little survival type kit. It looks like some matches and fish hooks. And it's definitely what you want to survive with, right? Well, what else was interesting is I'm like, okay, I see all these seams here. So I unscrewed this. And I don't think I'd ever seen. Now, when you've got stuff like this, you got to remember there's going to be like regular threads and there's going to be like reverse threads for it to work correctly. I don't want to go too far with it, but yeah, it actually extends. There's like an extension to make this thing a lot more easier to use. I'm like, okay, okay. I mean, this feels like it's some pretty sturdy... Put it this way. This thing feels 
way stronger than like the, the what you would expect similarly from Schrade. Like that last Schrade shovel that they put out. I never even reviewed it. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing this. This is, this is some bullshit. So, that might just be a seam. But this part comes off. And I'm just like, this is very, very, very different. And I don't, and I'd have to look up on the. I'll put. The, I'll find a link for this. Cause I don't even know what the hell it's called. We're just messing around today. This does feel like it's some pretty sturdy aluminum. So where's that little pokey thing? Does this go in here? Ah, does fit there. And does that go up too? Let's see. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm sure this is a highly entertaining video, right? It's got to lock down somehow. There, there, there. Okay, so now that's locked down. So what do I do with this now? I've got this pokey thing. Maybe if I extend this, <laughs> this thing's like a freaking maze. So, and then you have to always remember, well, do I go left with this one or do I go right? Anyway, let's just let's just assume that I unscrewed it all the way. So now I've got this thing. And I assume this is now like a billy club with a glass breaker on the end. I mean, this is the craziest freaking shovel I've ever seen. And it's actually sturdy. That's that's the crazy part. Is like this actually feels sturdy. Like the 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 head to this shovel is heavy. It feels sturdy. Like listen. See? Heavy, sturdy. <laughs> I'm gonna find out more about this thing. Maybe we'll take this out in the woods and try it. I mean granted it's a bit heavier. It's it definitely feels like it would be heavier than the uh, the the special forces shovel that Cold Steel makes or the similar one that Condor makes. But it's interesting. It's in interesting. Let's put it this way. If this particular one was actually in a store, like Walmart or something like that, where normally you would just turn your automatically turn your nose up at all that stuff, I would be like, wow, this is actually pretty uh, interesting for for Walmart. Hmm. Yeah, that's the th funny thing about King Camp is after all the you know they make awesome mats and cots and stuff like that and chairs. But then I get all this random stuff. Like I have so many solar showers. Like, and it's like, who, <laughs> what inventor dreamt that up and thought that like that was really that important that we this is a product that we needed. It's like just do what everyone else does, heat some water up in a pan by the fire and use a washcloth. I don't need to take a shower. So, you never know. I haven't gotten anything from them in a while, so just, things just show up. But, but the big thing was, I wanted to at least take a minute, even though I don't have time to go out uh, to the woods and do a proper video today. You know, take a look at this knife before I package it up and, and gifted it to somebody. And since this thing was sitting here, I literally picked it up right before the video, and I'm like, wait a minute, what is all this stuff? There's, there's more to this. So something different. I know it's kind of like phoning it in, but oh well. Uh, I've still got other videos that I will get filmed here in the next day or so uh, for the rest of the weekend. All right, guys, so that's all I got for right now. If there's links that are applicable to this video, they will be in the description box below. But as far as like needful things that I've looked at lately, probably the biggest needful thing is like the one that I don't have to show you right now. Uh, I just had too many things stack on top of each other, and that that's probably the biggest Bark River release this 
this month, and that's the uh, DLT exclusive Fox River EXT2, which is the larger version of like one of my favorite knives. So there's that one, and then that Ultralight Bushcrafter, which is like the sharpest freaking thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah, I still got to get another sheath for that. So that's all I got for right now. Chris from Prepare My 101. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. Sorry I wasn't able to do a proper video for you today, but I, you know, I wanted to keep my word, so I got out here and filmed something while I had a chance. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.